Police have charged four teenagers over a pursuit that ended in the front yard of a home at Royston Park. The chase left a trail of destruction through Adelaide's eastern suburbs, but luckily no one was injured. The end of the road for four teens arrested trying to run away from police after a chase that came to a crashing end. The sound of a police siren and then really loud bang. The car slamming into the front gate and fence of Roy Rowe's home. I was asleep and a car came around the corner with reds and blues after it and slammed into the fence and broke the water meter and made a heck of a noise. The broken meter sending water flooding through the yard as all four occupants of the car ran off. And I, I saw them run down the street and the next thing there was a police car. I saw three guys were rushing down, down the footpath full tilt, a uh, policeman running in behind them. Patrols cordoned off the area and quickly caught the youths. The pursuit started on Payne and Road after the vehicle allegedly sped away from police who tried to make a routine traffic stop just before 1.30 this morning. The car turning onto Salisbury Avenue and sideswiping a parked vehicle before losing control as it turned onto 2nd Avenue. Obviously it's pretty reckless. A 19-year-old Glind man has been charged with dangerous driving to cause a pursuit and driving unlicensed. He's been bailed to face court in April. The three teenage passengers have been reported for hindering police and summons to appear at the Adelaide Youth Court at a later date. Harvey Biggs, Nine News.